everyone. Welcome to provide a solution given this nice math problem, which is x over 5 times x over 5. This is equal to 5 over x multiplied by 5 over x. So this is the value of x. Now, if it is your first time you come across my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can get notified when I upload videos. So solution here, we have x times x, okay? So this is x times x divided by 5 times 5, which is basically 5 to power 2. This is equal to 5 times 5, which is 25, divided by x times x, which is actually x to power 2. Now, here we have x times x, which is x squared. If we cross multiply here, we'll have x squared times x squared. This is equal to 5 squared, okay, multiplying by, now this is 25, which is the same thing as 5 to power 2. Now, as you can see here, x squared times x squared, this is in the form of 8 to power n multiplying by 8 to power m, which we can express as 8 to power n plus m, okay? So applying this property, this is x to power 2 times x to power 2 becomes x to power 2 plus 2, this is equal to 5, this to power, applying this uh, exponent's identity, we'll have 2 plus 2. So that here we'll have x to power 4, this is equal to 5 to power 4. So let's take 5 to power 4 on the left hand side, we'll have x to power 4, subtract 5 to power 4, this is equal to 0. Okay? Now, we can express this as x to power 2, this to power 2, subtract 5 squared, this to power 2, this is equal to 0. Now, x squared to power 2 minus 5 squared to power 2, this is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b, a minus b. Okay? So here, we'll have x squared plus 5 squared, and then we'll have x squared subtract 5 squared, this is equal to 0. Now this means that we have two parts here, okay, which, which is in the form of a squared plus b squared, and also we have the second part here, which is in the form of a squared minus b squared, okay. So let's call this one case 1 and this case 2. So let's let's proceed to solve case 1 and case 2 as follows. So let's solve case 1. Case 1 is x squared plus 5 squared. This is equal to 0. This is in the form of a squared plus b squared, which we can express as a plus bi and a subtract bi. Okay? So here you have x squared plus 5 squared, this can be expressed as x plus 5i and x subtract 5i, okay, this is equal to 0. So we have x plus 5i equal to 0 and we have x minus 5i equal to, to 0. So we have the first value of x, x1 as negative 5i and we have x2 here as 5i okay so these are the first two values of x so let's solve for case 2 let's solve for case 2 case 2 here case 2 here this is x to power 2 subtract 5 to power 2 this is equal to 0 now this is actually in the form of a squared minus b squared this is equal to, to 0 we can express this as a plus b, a minus b. So this means that x squared minus 5 squared, this can be expressed as x plus 5, and x minus 5, this is equal to, to 0. So here you have x plus 5, this is equal to 0, and you have x minus 5, this is equal to, to 0. So here you have x3 as negative 5, and here you have x4, this is equal to, 
to 5. So let's verify, let's verify, let's verify that x1, x2, and x3, we have x1, which is equal to negative 5i, we have x2, which is 5i, we have x3, which is basically negative 5, and we have x4, which is actually 5. So let's verify that this four solution actually satisfies the equation. Okay. So if you recall, if you recall, we end that x divided by five times x divided by five. This is equal to five divided by x times five divided by x, which we simplified further, actually to x power four. This is equal to 5 to power 4. So let's substitute these values of x starting with x1. So let's substitute negative 5i raised to power 4. This is equal to 5 to power 4. So here we have this is the same thing as negative 5i times negative 5i times negative 5i times negative 5i so this is negative 5 times negative 5 this is 25 multiplying by i times i this is i squared multiplying by negative 5 times negative 5 again this is 25 times i squared and remember i squared this is negative 1 okay so here you'll have 25 times negative 1 times 25 times negative 1 okay so this 25 times 25 this is the same thing as 5 to power 2 times 5 to power 2 times negative 1 times negative 1 this is 1 so here it's 5 squared times 5 squared which is actually 5 to power 4 and this is equal to 5 to power 4 therefore x1 satisfies the equation so let's check x2 x3 and x4 quickly so we have x2 is equal to 5i so substituting x2 will have 5i raised to power 4. This should give us a value of 5 to power 4. So this is 5i times 5i times 5i times 5i. So this is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. This is actually 5 to power 4. Okay. Times i times i. This is i squared times i squared. This is equal to. 5 to power 4. i squared, this is negative 1. So this is 5 to power 4 times 1. This is equal to 5 to power 4. So you can see the left hand is equal to the right add side. And this affirms x2 satisfies the equation. So let's check x3, which is basically equal to 5. Negative 5 actually. So we'll have negative 5 raised to power 4. This is equal to 5 to power 4. So this is the same thing as negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. This should give us a value of 5 to power 4. So negative times negative times negative, this simplifies. So we'll have 5 to power 4. This is equal to 5 to power 4. And that shows that x3 satisfies the equation. Let's check x4, which is basically 5. So we'll have 5 to power 4. This is equal to 5 to power 4. This clearly shows that x4 satisfies the equation so that shows that the four solutions actually satisfies the equation so kindly like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye